Anyone who's lived in Santa Cruz or anywhere in California for any length of time knows about droughts and wildfire. And we've come to understand that many of these events are made worse by climate change. It's fairly easy to understand how droughts and wildfire relate to climate change. Less rain means drier conditions, and drier conditions drive devastating wildfires, a situation that seems to get worse each year. It's also easy to see how drought and wildfire impact water supply in a place like Santa Cruz, where we rely completely on local rainfall for all of our drinking water supply. But there's another problem with climate change that seriously impacts our water system. Too much rain. Our system was designed for the more normal weather patterns and rainfall events of the last century. It wasn't designed for the more extreme weather events that we're experiencing as a result of climate change. Our system is unable to treat the muddy, debris-filled water that comes with extreme rain events. Extreme rainfall also causes flooding and landslides, which break old and fragile pipelines. Our new reality is that we no longer have normal weather patterns in Santa Cruz. Extreme weather is our new normal. And our system was simply not designed for the new normal weather patterns that we're experiencing today. Climate change presents significant challenges for our system. The good news is we know what to do to ensure that whenever you turn on your faucet in the years ahead, high quality water will be available to you. And the work is underway. We're replacing the oldest critical pipelines that are most vulnerable to cracks and breaks. We're replacing the pipelines, intake structures, and valves at Loch Lomond Reservoir, where we store the vast majority of our water to ensure that we'll be able to fill and release water as efficiently as possible. We're replacing outdated equipment at the Graham Hill Water Treatment Plant to meet modern standards. We're testing new ways to store water, such as using underground space and depleted aquifers, which both increases our supply and replenishes the groundwater basin. We're revising the city's century-old water rights so that we have more flexibility in how we use and store water. And we're replacing broken and inefficient water meters with conservation-friendly meters that allow customers to monitor their water use. When it comes to planning for water supply to adapt to climate change, Santa Cruz is ahead of other communities. That makes sense because we have a long history of using water wisely and we have some of the lowest water use in the state. At the City of Santa Cruz Water Department, we're making wise decisions and smart investments now to ensure the safety and reliability of our drinking water for decades to come. Please join us in these efforts by following the Water Department on social media, exploring our website, and engaging with us at our public meetings. Thank you.